This is the second in a series on big fat lies. Um, this is on the uh, the academic article, uh, the reanalysis, reevaluation of the traditional diet, uh, the traditional diet heart hypothesis. This was Ansel Keys and his his crowd. Um, I'll tell you a little. Not, it was uh, this was actually part of his team. Uh, he was not the principal investigator on the original study. Um, one of his uh, co-workers was uh, co-investigators. But that was the original study. This is a reanalysis, reevaluation. In fact, the original study, when it was written up, actually showed very little data, and it was very inconclusive. This study uh, <clears throat> sounds like a um, sounds almost like a uh, Indiana Jones mystery where you're finding a lot of information that's been buried for a long time, in fact, 40 years. This was uh, written up in the British Medical Journal, uh, April of uh, 2017. I'll go through the uh, details, uh, the science in this video, and then we'll talk about the story behind that science in the next video. So the researcher, the principal investigator for this reanalysis was Christopher E. Ramsden. Uh, Dr. Ramsden is at the United States National Institutes of Health. He does do dietary research. He had uh, other biostatisticians, um, uh, psychiatrists, uh, senior clinical investigators, etc. You'll see why he had the psychiatrist on there in just a minute. Um, here was the abstract. It was the uh, Minnesota Coronary Experiment. What this was, was a um, U.S. Public Health Service, NIH-funded uh, study, which looked at, it was a randomized clinical trial. Now that is um, very interesting. It was comparison, comparing saturated fat, animal fats, which was the standard at that time, to vegetable fats. Now, <clears throat> let's go back for a second to the randomized clinical trial. Uh, Go back and look at the studies, the academic articles that you see on diet. How many of them are actually randomized clinical trials? In order to do that, you have to control what people eat. That is rare. So what you end up usually getting is observational, what we call observational studies. That requires that the study participants remember correctly what they ate for the study results. And you have to make assumptions like, well, they may misremember, which is a big study question in those things, but uh, hopefully the misremembering will balance out. And <clears throat> you, know, you get into a lot of those kinds of assumptions. That didn't happen here. Now, how did they do that? Well, they looked at um, nursing home and mental hospital patients and uh, actually controlled their diet in terms of taking the standardized diet, which had um, animal fats in it, and substituting that with margarine, corn oils, vegetable fats. So, um, <clears throat> in fact, one of the places where you'll see randomized clinical tri uh, trials for diets now, they increased about 15 years ago, 10, 15 years ago, and you can find that in a book by Jenny Rule, R-U-H-L. It's called Diet 101. What happened to create those um, that big influx of randomized clinical trials was a fellow named Robert Atkins died. Is it Robert or Richard? The, it's the Dr. Atkins with the Atkins diet. He got pilloried, criticized by everyone for, or not everyone, but by a lot of people for his uh, low carb uh, ketogenic diets. He continued to stick to his guns though until his death and uh, said, I still think it's healthy. Well, he made a lot of money off of uh, that, that diet. And in his uh, estate, he left a lot of money for clinical trials to be done. They were, and uh, that's the story of a, I cover that story in a different video. Let's go back to this one, because this was an original clinical trial that actually had this data been made available, uh, it's very likely to have changed the federal uh, Department of Agriculture, my plate, and uh, dietary recommendations because it's very different from the study recommendations that came out of this team. Those studies were 
cut the animal fat, replace it with uh, vegetable fat over and over and over again in multiple studies. In fact, this one study was written at one time, but it didn't really uh, contain much. There was no data. That's actually why, or very little data, and that's actually why Dr. Ramsden went back and redid the analysis and put the data in. I'll talk about that in another uh, video that co that's covered in another article, Scientific American. It's a very interesting uh, story behind this article. But again, let's finish the science. So what the, the study design was to take, it was randomized clinical trial. They had 9,423 women and men, uh, ages 20 to 97. They followed them over a number of years, 1968 to 73, five years. They substituted the uh, non-study group received their usual animal fats, um, uh, common margarines, and shortenings. The study group uh, had those replaced, those fats replaced with corn oil and corn oil margarine, partly unsaturated fats. So what did they look for? Well, they looked for two things. First of all, they looked for a decrease in cholesterol, and then they looked for a decrease in heart attack, stroke, and um, death overall. How, what did they find with cholesterol? Sure enough, they did find a significant decrease in cholesterol, about a 14% decrease. The probability of this happening on just a statistically randomized, uh, as a randomized event, was less than one in a thousand. So it's pretty reliable that they did get uh, a, probably did get a decrease in cholesterol from the uh, substitution of polyunsaturates, vegetable oils, instead of animal fats. So that was a, a successful study, right? Well, not so fast. It actually came out uh, very different from what the uh, research team expected. They did get a 14% decrease in cholesterol, but for those people, that had that cholesterol decrease, they had a 22% higher risk of death, heart attack, stroke, um, overall death. The probability of that was, again, also less than one in a thousand. So they got what they expected in terms of decreased cholesterol, but they got the opposite of what they expected with that decrease in cholesterol, they got an increase in uh, death, heart attack, strokes. Very interesting uh, result. And again, I'll tell you the story behind that story, or the story behind that study uh, in another video. Thanks for your interest.